Well, I mean, obviously your your goal at the beginning of every season is making the NCAA tournament. So, so there was, uh, you know, immediate disappointment after the game there, and uh, not taking it as far as we would have liked. But, uh, but you know, another opportunity, a rebirth um, for these guys to continue to play basketball. And I'm particularly excited for our for our three seniors. You know, those guys they don't want to, you know, they don't want to turn in their jerseys yet. And and our other guys, I mean, right now we've. We've had a we've had a solid season. You know, winning year. Anytime you have a winning year, you know you're you're proud of that season. But at the end of the day, if you start getting into 17, 18, 19 wins, that becomes you know a good year or really good year. And then you get to the 20 win uh, mark, and, and that becomes an elite year. And so we have that opportunity with the, with this re rebirth with the CIT and opportunity to keep playing games and winning. We get to compete for a championship. You know, it's going to be 32 of the best mid-major programs in the country that aren't in the uh, in the NCAA. So, you know, we're going to have opportunities to face off against really good teams that have had nice years like us. So I'm excited about it. Is it a shot at redemption, seeing as how things didn't fare so well in South Dakota? Yeah, I mean, redemptions of sort, but just to continue playing. I mean, I agree. I mean, I mean, we want to finish with a bang, and, and, you, and you, you keep winning. I mean, Murray State last year was was 18 and 12, and they go into this tournament and they win it, and they go, you know, now they finish the year 23 and 12, and it goes from you know a solid year of 18 wins to an elite year of 23, and you know that's what we're kind of looking to do with this group, and you know we feel like we. We can play on any given day with, uh, you know, most any program in the country. So, you know, we're going to go on the road. We know that. We don't know where yet. But, uh, you know, going on the road, no matter where you go, is going to be a tough place to win. But, you know, we're excited to go, you know, face off against some of the best mid-major programs in the country on the road. What have, what have these three seniors meant to your team? Obviously, to take you to back-to-back -back post seasons, what have they meant to you? Well, I mean, even going beyond the, the what they've done on the court, I mean, I have – you know, I, I really get sentimental when I think about them just because, I mean, two of them have been with us for four. Steve's been with us for three. Um, two of them, both both Steve and Isaiah, uh, committed to me at previous schools and then have, have followed me here. So, I mean, it's, you know, Steve I've known since he was uh, a rising eighth grader, you know, and all three of them, I know their families. They come from great backgrounds. They've been tremendous ambassadors for for our, for our university, for the city of Fort Wayne, and uh, and for our program. So they mean a ton there, but in terms of basketball-wise, you know, the last two years where all three of them have been eligible, they've won 41 games and counting. Um, they've, you know, and then the three, uh, or the two, the two players that have played for four years, I mean, the last three years, they've they've won, I guess, what was it 57 games in three years? I mean, they're, that's the three most successful years in Division One program history. So. You know, really pleased. I mean, you can't even really account it with the numbers, what they've done. They've really helped build our culture. What are your expectations for uh, the CIT this season or this, this time around? Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, it'll depend on, on our draw um, and, and, and who we're playing to kind of explain really how I feel from the gut. But just playing a postseason game, I mean, that's everybody's, that's everybody's goal. And if we can win this first round game, you know, there'll be between the CIT, CBI, NIT, and NCAA tournament, there'll be 74, roughly 74, 75 teams left next Saturday. Um, so, you know, to be one of the final teams playing in the country, which, you know, we were the final team in, MB, in, uh, in Indiana last year playing basketball, you know, that's something to be proud of. And, you know, we're looking to, you know, move up the ranks uh, within the state of Indiana as well with our postseason and keep moving up and maybe we can be the last team in our state playing again. Obviously your first year as a head coach you're named as a finalist for like first year head coach of the year award. What does that mean to you to, to be a finalist for that? Uh, you know, not, not, a, not a ton on that. Um, you know, there were, I guess there must not have been uh, many first year head coaches out there this year. But, uh, you know, this group, I'm, I'm proud of this group. Um, you know, we, we, we had some difficulty during a stretch in our season, you know, for a number of different reasons, but this team never made excuses, uh, you know, between injuries and, and, and scheduling and so forth like that. They just battled on, battled on. We were two to three possessions away um, a ton during that early stretch of our conference. And to win seven in a row, finish eight of our last ten, being playing, you know, to be playing our best basketball at the end of February, early March, that's our goal here every year at IPFW. And we feel really good that we've done that the last three years. And so, you know, it doesn't always work out in the conference tournament like you want it. 
you know, we're, we're disappointed. Um, you know, that's our goal. That's our dream. But at the end of the day, you, you gotta, you gotta move forward. It's an next play mentality with our guys. And, you know, we got an opportunity for a rebirth in the CIT and we just want to keep playing. We want these three seniors to stay in our program as long as possible and, and see if we can't maybe get a uh, CIT championship. When do you anticipate figuring out who you're going to play? Uh, it's my understanding that we'll know on Sunday. Sunday? Okay. So you're not really going to prepare for an unknown opponent for too long. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll be. And right now we gave our guys, uh, you know, four days of rest. This is our spring break. We let them, you know, guys, local guys went home. Guys got off their legs. It's been a, it's been a long season. Um, you know, we went to Canada this summer. You, you're, we're working on almost seven months of straight basketball. So, you know, getting some fresh legs with, with these guys will be good. We've, we're going to get up shots for the next couple days as we find our opponent. You know, we'll prep some more, um, you know, and, and hopefully shake a little rust off since it'll be, you know, almost eight or nine days from, uh, from our play. But my understanding is we'll be playing Wednesday someplace. As you look back at last year, I mean, that experience, these guys have been through it. What can you use from last year to, to use in this year's tournament? Well, I mean, just the fact that, that we were able to grind out practices when you have some disappointment that you're not playing in the NCAAs. Because, I mean, we work so hard, we talk so much about it, and we just grind that dream all year long, um, you know, to be able to flip it and make the adjustment of, okay, you know, that's not a reality, but, but the next step is for our younger guys, they're building tournament experience, and they're getting ready to, uh, you know, to, to play in a tournament, their first, you know, some of these guys are first postseason tournament, and for the upper guy, upper classmen, you know, an opportunity like, you know, they don't want to hang up their jerseys, you know, they want to keep playing. So I think, you know, the, the experience from last year's is is we had a win, but you know, we we kind of ran into a buzzsaw at VMI who was playing at a high level too, and we recognized how hard it is. Everybody in this tournament's playing well right now, and. To go on the road, it's going to be really difficult. You got to bring your A game. So wherever we get sent, we you know we better bring it because it's going to be a good team. Any idea who you might play? They're going to want to keep us regional, particularly in the first round when there's 32 teams in it. So it will be you know someone I would imagine between the MAC, the Horizon, Ohio Valley, Missouri Valley, someone of that. And you know every everybody in in the tournament is going to have a winning record. Um, so you can kind of look down the, uh, the, you know, the different league standings and kind of see who maybe we might match up with with that. And other people are probably releasing some of their CIT, you know, who's accepted bids to CIT, so you might be able to recognize that. So put the puzzle together. We'll see if you can figure it out. If you do figure it out, call me. <laughs>